Okay, we're going to talk about dividend yield in assignment 12. If your stock pays a dividend, then that means you are getting rewarded for being an owner of that company. That company is making money and they want to turn around and return some of those profits to their stockholders. So in example one, Roberta is considering purchasing a common stock that pays an annual dividend of $2.13 per share. If she purchases 700 shares at $45.16 per share, what would her annual income be from dividends? The price paid per share is not needed to compute the annual dividend. To find the annual income from dividends, simply multiply how many shares she owns by the dividend. So 700 times 213 is 1,491. So that would be her annual income, 1,491. Okay. To find the annual income from dividends, simply take the number of shares and multiply it times the dividend. Elise owns 2,000 shares of a corporation that pays a quarterly dividend of 51 cents per share. How much should she expect to receive in a year? Compute her quarterly dividend by multiplying the number of shares by the quarterly dividend. So she owns 2,000 shares, and this is what she gets quarterly. That's every three months. Think quarters. There's four quarters and a dollar. So every quarter is three months. Three months. 51 cents per share, so 2,000 times 51, this is what she gets every three months, okay? So she gets 1,020 quarterly. To see how much she wants to get in a year, simply multiply by four. So take this amount, this is the quarterly amount, every three months, multiply it times four to figure out how much she gets in a year. So 1,020 times four is $4,080. That's how much dividend she would receive in a year. All right, what if we have a situation like this where we know the dividend and we know the price and we want to know what the yield is. The yield is basically kind of like the rate you're earning on that, those shares. So Kristen owns common stock in Max's Toy Den. The annual dividend is $1.40. The current price is $57.40 per share. What is the yield of the stock to the nearest tenth of a percent? Again, it's more like what kind of interest are you earning for owning that stock? Write the yield as a fraction. You want the annual dividend per share. Well, the annual dividend per share is $1.40. It's written right there. Over the current price. When you divide those, you get 0 0.0243, and when you round to the nearest tenth of a percent, remember you're going to move two places, so 2.4 percent would be the end, would be the current yield. Now you can see that this might not change very often, but this changes constantly, which means that this number is going to change constantly. So as this current price per share goes up or down, and that goes up or down constantly every day, then the yield will change. And it might just be a slight change, but it will change as the price per share changes. Okay. One share of Beepco preferred stock pays an annual dividend of $1.20. Today's Beepco closed at $34.00. And 50 cents with a net change of 50 cents, what was the stock's yield at yesterday's closing price? Which it doesn't tell us, but it gives us the information to find that. So if it closed at 34.50 with a net change, that's today, it closed at 34.50 with a net change of negative 50 cents, so we went down 50 cents. What was the yield at yesterday's closing price? Well, yesterday's closing price would be this but it went down 50 cents, so it's that plus 50 cents, which would be 35. So $34.50 plus the 50 cents would be 35. So yesterday's close was 35. So that's the number I'll use in the denominator. So the yield, 1.20 divided by 35, yesterday's closing, is 0 0.03429, right there. Move the decimal two places. 
moved to three. One, two. So right there between the three and the four. Three point four percent. That was the yield yesterday. The yield today would be different because we would use thirty four fifty. So to find the yield today, I would do one point two divided by thirty four point five. So pause the video if you'd like and see if you can find the yield for today's close. Three point five percent. If I move the decimal two places between the three and the four, the four would get rounded up because of the seven. So see the yield changed just slightly from one day to the next. Okay. Please. All right. Stock paid an annual dividend of 214. The stock split two for one. What's the annual dividend after the split? Okay. If the dividend was 214 and the stock split two for one, so remember if you owned 100 shares, now you own 200 shares. Okay. If the annual dividend was 214 now that you own twice as many shares you would simply need to divide that by two to get the new dividend which would be a dollar seven so again it's all about whether you're multiplying by that number or dividing by that number okay all right let's last one a corporation was paying two dollars and ten cent annual dividend the stock underwent a three for two three for two stock split what's the new annual dividend per share easiest way to do this would be to convert to a decimal three over two is equal to 1.5 okay if you divide that since the stock split three for two you're going to divide that by 1.5 so 2.10 divided by 1.5 is 1.4 like what we're talking dollars and cents so the new annual dividend would be a dollar forty that's assignment 12. Good luck.